Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Completes New Game Plus Extras mode thing that I'm doing. It's fine. As you guys can see right there, I just passed the Strongest Enemies build. And when you do that, uh, something special happens. We come over here and we're like, hey, let's go to the Dimension Guide and see if we can't level up somewhere, shall we? Prince, we have a problem. Something powerful has appeared in the Stellar Graveyard. Something powerful? There's nothing more powerful than me. But it sounds like I can kill some time there. Prince, please be careful. Alright, so we're going to go to the Stellar Graveyard, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be here. And... It's going to be at the very bottom in the Primordial Soup. Okay. And I don't actually know what this is yet. I, I, I do actually know what that is, but like, I, found an amazing I, tome. I, I didn't before I got here. That is a guy from Makai Kingdom. It is Zeta? Zeta? Zeta. We'll say Zeta. Prince, oh Prince, I found an amazing tome. So you found a dirty book? I don't want it. Are you sure? This is a priceless tome, you know. I said I don't want it. Just burn it. It's huh. just a rumor, but in another netherworld, there's a sacred tome that makes any wish come true. Looks like this could be it. Want to try it out, Prince? You're just using me as an experiment, aren't you? Yep. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> Gotta love Etna. Show me more respect. Besides, we have printies for this sort of thing. It's true. Come on, Prince. I was just joking. Uh -huh. But if you're not going to use it, then I'll try it out. Let's see. This seems like a bad plan. Huh? Whoa. What? What is this amazing power? Uh-oh. I think I pissed it off. Huh? A book dares to challenge me? The Great Laharl? Let's see how you like the fires of hell. Okay, well, I... But if this is what I think it is, I don't think we can survive here. I think this is like an ultimate endgame goal. And I definitely don't think we're strong enough. So what do we have? Ally damage, 80%. That's rugged. No entry or lifting. That's also bad. There's no lifting and a warp tile there. Those are the things that keep us out. Oh, these things are level 9,999. Yeah, we definitely don't stand a chance here. But that's the thing you can do at max level. I don't know if you can come at this place at a lower level and try to do some stuff. Ooh, we got Nemesis, Arcadia, and Galactic Muscle. Those all sound like cool things. But all sound like things that are way outside of our reach right now. Like, we can't do this. Alright, what else we got? We got ourselves ally damage of 20% on the four, yeah. So this is a bit outside of our range right now. We do have a fair few strong people, but nobody at 9,999. Nobody who could probably even scratch these guys. The closest we would have would be Arzla, and I doubt she's got any kind of oomph to take this down. Let's just see if we can even hit this guy. Oh, we can! And we did a fair amount of damage at 29,000, but again... When they have 760,000 damage, or health, our 29,000 isn't really doing much. Anyway, guys and gals, I'm going to reload back on the map, and we're going to do some of the Pretty Land stuff, like I promised. So, let's go do that, and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so we're back, and I will show you guys my progression once again. Laharl's at 232, Etna's at 306, Planar at 156, or sorry, 154. Uh, Zap is at 233. You'll notice Kalark, our divine Majin, is at 1,335 with Arzla five levels ahead. And Arzla looks a little different. She's no longer a Ronin. She has been transmigrated into the Shogun, which is a lot better. Additionally, Bumpy has been transmogged into, or transmigrated rather, into a cosmic hero from a basic warrior. Again, a pretty substantial and Impressive increase in overall power and everything, basically. The like, movement was better. A whole bunch of stuff went up. It was it was a good move. And the final one I showed you guys this last time that really went up 
and that got uh, transmigrated with Slade is no longer a thief but a space pirate. You guys have already seen that, so yeah, that's basically where we're at. As you can see, we have about 146, uh, sorry, million hell right now, so we're doing pretty good. And we're gonna go play in the pretty world. I believe we're on the strongest setting though. So we'll see. I don't know if we can handle the pretty world at the strongest setting. Probably the first level or two, but we'll see. We'll see. And essentially, if you guys are wondering what I was doing, I was... I'll show you real quick. Again, we're going back to the Cave of Ordeal 3. It is the place to be, as they say. And, yes, essentially, I was chilling out with, with Bumpy, Arzla, and Kalar. And we were taking these guys down. Bumpy is the one with the super-powered level-up scheme that he's doing. And, essentially, we're going with Braveheart to increase our overall attack power. And yeah, that's basically what we're doing. I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have my for this level particularly. I'm gonna have my animations turned off for right now, so we can get through it a little bit quicker. So we take a look: thirty-seven thousand, twenty-six thousand, and twenty-seven thousand is our attack power for these. I'm gonna put these two away. We're gonna bring them back out. It's gonna be Arzla over here with her winged slayer. And it's going to be Kalark over here with his winged slayer. A little bit further than that. There we are. And we're going to go one final time with Courtney coming out. And she is going to brave heart our boy as well. Attack number one, attack number two. Unfortunately, one of the baddies died, but that's okay. And over here we're now up to 31,000, so we're hitting pretty hard with the buff ups there. And easy kills, easy level, easy gold. All of it's good stuff. So that's what we've been doing, and that's why we're on the highest difficulty setting to begin with. If we take a look, he's up at 844, or 842, he's, he's doing okay. I am, uh, yeah, it's fine. We're, so we're going to go to the pretty land stuff, guys and gals. It's, it's going to be fine. Pretty land. Pretty land number one. What is this place? Prince, be careful. This is Prinny Land. Prinny Land? This is where Prinnies who escape from the Netherworld or Celestial Celestia come. I see. In other words, it's a hangout for losers. I would write them off so quickly. I've heard that there are Prinny Rebels here who, who were exiled from the Netherworld and Celestia. Rumor has it that some of them can give even an overlord a run for his money. Huh. Then I won't be bored. Let's go. Okay. Well, it does look... That's, that's a pretty cool map. I think I've done this one before. None of them are super powerful, so that's good. All right, well, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to throw this person. This little pretty went to the market. This little pretty stayed home. This little pretty was, oops, I leveled up the pretty. That was not the plan. This little, this little pretty went to splatity boom boom and died a horrible death. For splatity boom boom, folks. For splatity boom boom. Uh, huh? how, how how you know blow up? What what's happened? You know it's fine. So apparently throne printies don't blow up here, which again is weird. But fine, I suppose. All right, goodbye. There is no problem here. We can take these guys out, no problem whatsoever. I'm going to sever his knight in a knight severy type of way. And it's going to be fine, guys and gals. It's going to be okay. Alright, Etna. Move on up and attack. Eh? We'll end the turn. Let them come after us. Lots of pretty dances. I should probably have my attack animations turned back on for this. Since we're no longer power leveling up, I think we will do just that. Alright. Well. 
Oh, and we're confused. Did attack? Not enough. Don't worry. The prince is here to make your day better. Ah, 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 ah. Nicely done. Get out of, of the way. Senior Majin, please come over here and do the swirly whirly jungle pants thing. Yes, the swirly whirly jungle pants thing. Curse land. Yeah, they did. Alright, well. Let's put you guys down with a double night sever maneuver here. I'll finish this! Slice to the ice to the ice, dice, dice. Down you go, sucker. So, we, we kind of murdered him a lot. And then it's going to be no different with her. Except, I think, more damage overall. But it's kind of a big deal. 34,000. It's pretty impressive. Alright, there are five printies that remain. I think there's only five. No, there's six. Now there's five. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Perfect. Bring it on. What you got? We got nothing. Nothing really going on there. Some basic pretty attacks that are going to get countered and they're going to get murdered for it. And a pretty dance from the, the green pretty of doom. Yeah, not really doing a whole lot. A follow up pretty dance. They're very, very much into their own choreography. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit weird. Sliced, and sliced, and. Well, that's it, huh? Well, I'll admit, did not expect it to go that way. A little bit surprising. It's fine. You should be able to kill at least one of them. Bite the dust! And nope. An enthusiastic and sprightly nope. Alright, you dead. Nope. You gonna be dead too soon up there, little printy in the corner. Printy in the corner. Uh, uh. Printy in the corner. Uh, uh. It's fine. Alright, printy in the corner. I'm going to dimensionally slash you, though. Because I can do that. Alright, let's see what these things do. I mean, we already know what Night Sever does, but we don't know what Dimensional Slash does. I don't know if I've seen that one. So let's find out, shall we? Tip. Be gone. Okay. Safe. Oh! Okay, well that's... yeah. Yeah, Dimension Slash makes sense now. It absolutely does. Okay, we're gonna go to Pretty Land 2. Uh huh. Oh, recovery clone, huh? I don't mind the recovery, I mind the clone. Alright, well, whatevs. Take care of business here. Yeah, I guess you can find that, it's fine. Um. Yep, that works out just all right with me. Alright, we lift you guys up and chuck you over to where you need to be. And it will be glorious. Oh yes. There will be blood. Blood of my enemies. Wait, what? That lived through that? Wait, what? How is that a thing? Alright. I'm not gonna lie, that was, that was a tad, uh, was a tad odd. Very unexpected. Alright, Arzla, if that is your real map, no, it doesn't matter. Let's lift you guys up, throw you on over. And one more throw, there it is, and... Yeah. 
This should be enough damage. If it's not, I'm gonna be in shock. Alright, my shocked face now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good shocked face. Alright, no more cloning, just the recovery rate? Well, that is more than fine with me. Oh, Senor Bumpington, why don't you go and do the murder on the back of this person over here, yes? I'll this. Very nice. I don't know if we will, though. Will we finish this? Oh. Yep. He dead. Um, that's fine. Charge it. Not the Pringer beam. It's got disaster written all over it. Basic attack. Dual counter, I believe. Hmm. You done messed up. You attacked me. You're gonna pay now. It's better than the pretty dance, though. I will give you that. The pretty dance is just depressing in all, all aspects. Ooh, it's chopping away. Counter, 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 counter. That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> Alright, just gonna take a random pot shot at you. Alright, let's not lift. Let's go to special, dimension slash, and cut oh, him yeah. down to C's eyes with his friend behind him to watch on. <laughs> well, their fate is to become. This is what awaits them. Yeah, I too would be paranoid and really, really afraid. Just saying, it's a natural response. It's fine. Can't target anybody. But don't worry. I am here. I am here to slay the day. <laughs> yeah. I'll finish this. Anyhow, when we finish up this level, I think we'll break off of the episode. I will probably do some more leveling on the camera, and when I come back, I might have the weakest enemies. I don't know. We'll try to get through a few things. Uh, we'll try to finish up Pretty World if that's possible. I don't know. I'm assuming there's probably some sort of super ultra mega Pretty boss somewhere, which will probably end up murdering my soul. So that's a little disappointing, but eh, make do. We'll make do. It'll be fine. And I would like to see if we can't find any unlockable characters other than Zeta Zeta from Makai. Makai. That, pr that Pringer Beam looks so impressive, and it's, it's quite underwhelming, to be honest. It looks like it should have the oomph of. Generations, but it's it's kind of meh. It's all, it's all time for you to die. You know this counter attack comes. Yep, there's one, there's two. Alright, let's go with Violent Storm. That should more than enough to go down. And of course it did. Alright. Let's lift you up and throw you over. And let's move over and chop you down to size, friend. I'll finish this. Chop you down to size. Oh yes. It's so beautiful. Alright, final two printies. It is time to say goodbye. It truly is. You have been an inspiration to millions. And now you must burn! Plasma burn as we hit you with the plasma sword of doom. Look at that. It's quite half the universe. It's crazy. The space time continuum is gone forever. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll hop into Pretty Land 3 and all that stuff in the very next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until the very next episode. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>